someone came to the window begging. I was quite shocked because obviously I'm used to Africa where there's about 10, 15 of them. Here there was only one. Nonetheless, it wasn't supposed to be. But I thought to myself, minimum is don't open your window and say a swear word or say, what are you doing here? Or go back to where you came from. But that's what some people do. Do you know why? They don't believe in Allah. They don't realize the blessings. They don't realize we're going to leave everything we came with. I'd rather deposit it in a good way than leave it with me and I die. And guess what happens to it? I can tell you something, another thing that's shocking. The more you leave behind, the bigger the problems within your children and grandchildren and circles are. When you have less and you've left behind almost nothing, there are still brothers and sisters talking to each other. When you've left behind a billion, trust me, chances of them killing each other to fight for something that wasn't even theirs in the first place are bigger. It doesn't happen in every case, but in most cases. I know because I'm involved in a lot of those arbitrations. They fight over a million when wallahi the estate is like 500 million and they're fighting over 1 million. My brother, I know of a guy who was prepared to give up everything there and the figure wasn't even big. But the bigger the figure gets, guess what? It becomes more connected to the heart. I know of someone who says, inshallah, once my father dies, I'll be a rich man. I heard this with my own ears. I said, what do you mean? He said, my father's very rich. I said, so you mean you're waiting for him to die? He says, well, you can't word it that way, but in a nutshell, when he dies, I'll be a rich guy. Said, That's exactly what you're saying. Imagine sometimes our own kids are waiting for us to die because they think, hey, the guy's got a few million stashed away and I'm going to be getting it. What kind of child? But then again, what kind of parent who doesn't spend on his own children that they have to wish for his death? You're a multi-millionaire and your child can't even afford a car. What was the point? And you say, no, fix them. That one's got a husband. You know what? The husband should provide. Allah has given you. You're the father. You can call your son-in-law and say, you know what? Here's a million. Mashallah. If anything, he'll be ashamed of the affair he's been having. Allah forgive us. <laughs> May Allah grant us ease.